Hello everybody. Today we are going to solve few questions on profit and loss that appeared in CAT 2020 exam. Let's go with the first question. A man buys 35 kgs of sugar and sets a marked price in order to make 20% profit. So marked price is always marked over the cost cost price. He sells 5 kgs at this price. A marked price is chase to achieve a 20% profit. 5 kgs are price ke amad. and then 15 kg at 10% discount. A mark price with the 10% discount chase in a price king 15 kgs he was able to sell. Accidentally, 3 kgs of sugar is wasted. And 3 kgs we can assume that he sold it at 0. Wasted and amalak paid. So 3 kgs at 0. He sells the remaining sugar by raising the marked price by P percent. So at the marked price pina P percent penchite. He was able to achieve overall profit of 15 percent. So to easy uh, to ease out the calculation, let us make an assumption that he bought each kg of sugar for rupees 100. Let us say this is his purchase price. So then total cost and then to because he bought total 35 kg. Total cost would be. 35 into 100 okay now it says he sets marked price in order to make a 20% profit so cost price 100 and kunte marked price and tawali he's saying 20% profit covered it has to be 100 into 1 plus 20 percent which is nothing but 100 into 1.2 which is 120. The next line says he sold 5 kgs at this price. So 5 kgs he sold at 120. Okay. And then he sells 15 kgs at 10% discount. So 10% discount is on the mark price Kabati. If this is the mark price, what would be the discounted price? Since he sold at 10% discount, this has to be 120 into 90%. 1 minus 10 percent which is nothing but 108 so we know he sold 15 kgs at 108 and he says 3 kgs of sugar is wasted until 3 kgs into 0 he did not receive any money on the 3 kgs he sells the remaining sugar by raising the mark price by p percent total he sold 5 15 and 3 got wasted this adds up to 5 plus 15 is 20, 20 plus 3 is 23. Remaining in the total 35 kgs and starting from Ankunanga, but the remaining is 35 minus 12, 23, which is 12. Let us say he sold it at P. A P manthara determined jaddo. Or question logo to P on the Gabati, just to avoid confusion, let us say that is S, selling price. This was giving him overall profit of 15%. So then cost price 35 into 100 and kunte total profit and touch not to the nipa 15 percent touch not to ante into 1.15 1 plus 15 percent in other words this would be 35 into 115 now we just need to solve for s in this equation so just to uh, make the calculation simplified i'll just show you a small trick so 5 times 120 is 600 when you have numbers like this 15 into 10 chair and upadu, make a simple trick and ante, break 15 into 10 plus 5. 108 into 10 and 108. Into 5 chase now you just have to make this half. What is 1018 half chest? You would get into 5. What is half of 1080? 540. When you add this, it is 1620. So this is 1620. 3 times 0 is 0 and 12 s is equal to 35 to 115 again same logic you said though so 115 into 30 plus 5 one kundu. 30 into 115 3 times 115 and 345 you just have to add 0 at the end similarly 5 times 115 and 5 times 15 is 75 5 times 100 is 500 so if you add it 50 plus 75 is 125 36 uh, sorry, 35 plus 5 is 40. So this is 4025. 12s is equal to 
फोर जीरो टू फाइव मैनस टू 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 जीरो रेड ऐड टू 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 जीरो दिश नथिंग बट एट हड्रेड अंड फाइव ट्वेलव एस इज एन हंड्रेड अंड फाइव सो एस इज ईक्वल टू एन हंड्रेड अंड फाइव बै ट्वेलव विच इज रफ्ली हंड्रेड अंड फिफ्टी ना वाट इज द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज हि सेल्स द रिमेनिंग शुगर विच हि सोल अट वन फिफ्टी ऐक्चुअली बै रईजिंग द मार्क्ड प्रईज बै पी पर्सन सो वाट इज द मार्क्ड प्रईज आवर मार्क्ड प्रईज इज हि वन ट्वेंटी विच वी डिटर्म करेक्ट सो नौ हिज आस्किंग वन फिफ्टी इज हाउ मच मोर दैन वन ट्वेंटी सो दट इज नथिंग बट वन फिफ्टी मैनस वन ट्वेंटी बै वन ट्वेंटी विच इज थर्टी बै वन ट्वेंटी विच इज ईक्वल टू वन बै फोर और ट्वेंटी फाइव पर्सेंट सो द आंसर इज डी मन की नियरेस्ट अनाबी मन अप्राक्सीमेट इट्स नाट एग्जाक्ट अमौंट लैस को नैक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Anil buys twelve toys and labels each with the same selling price. So Anil bought twelve toys. Let us say P is the selling price for each for each of the toy. He sells eight toys initially at twenty percent discount. He sells eight toys initially at twenty percent discount. So twelve lo he sold eight at twenty percent discount to P. So twenty percent discount to P and ten thousand the. P into one minus twenty percent, which in other words is point eight P. So we know eight toys he sold at point eight P. Then he sells the remaining four toys at an additional twenty five percent discount on the discounted price. This is very important. The additional twenty five percent discount is given on the discounted price. Discounted price into the point eight P. The in point twenty five percent discount is the end of the day. Which is nothing but point eight p into one minus twenty five percent, which is also point eight p into seventy five percent. How can we write seventy five percent? Three by four in fractional terms. So point eight p into three by four is nothing but point six p. So we know he sold four toys at point six p. Okay, so eight toys at point eight p, four toys at point six p. Thus he gets a total of two one one two. So this is two one one two, and it also says he makes a profit of ten percent overall. So if two one one two ki if he was able to sell twelve toys two one one two ki ammi the he made a overall profit of ten percent. So in that case, can we determine what is the total cost he has incurred? So if total cost mano atan incur jay sindi C an kunte. C into one plus ten percent profit is nothing but the total selling price, which in other words C is equal to two one one two by one point one, or two one one two zero by eleven. If we subtract, ah, uh, sorry, if we divide, eleven months eleven, you get ten, one zero one eleven nine ninety nine, you get a remainder two. Two into twenty-two, one nine two zero. So then total cost one nine two zero. And kunte the cost per toy is nothing but one nine two zero by twelve, which is one sixty. So this is the cost price. Now let us determine the selling price which initially wanted to sell this. So eight into point eight is six point four p, plus four into point six p is two point four p is equal to two one one two. Six point four plus eight two point four is eight point eight p, which is equal to two one one two. So let us solve for p. Two one one two zero by eighty eight and kocha. Just make it simpler. We already know we just did two one one two zero by eleven one nine two zero. So straight away I can say eleven goes eight times. Eleven goes one nine two zero times. One nine two zero by eight is two hundred and forty. So His selling price he initially marked up is two hundred and forty. His cost price is one sixty. What can we tell you? Next question is with no discounts, his percentage of profit would have been. But then he he discount save he offer chase he unda kapote. Then total profit percentage and toche the. So if he has bought it for one sixty and if he sells it for two forty, what is the percentage profit? 
which is 240 minus 160 by his cost price which is nothing but 80 by 160 that is 50 percent so the answer is b okay let's go to the next question now a person spent rupees 50,000 to purchase a desktop computer and a laptop computer so a person let's say desktop computer d and kundam laptop computer l and kundam d plus l is 50,000 he sold desktop at a 20 percent profit so d desktop uh, d cost d and kunte if he sold it at 20 percent profit he would have sold it for d into 1 plus 20 percent and laptop at 10 percent loss so this becomes l into 1 minus 10 percent because there is a loss and this is a profit if he overall made a 2 percent profit then the purchase price in rupees of the desktop is so this transaction has given him an overall profit of 2 percent so 50,000 thana cost price and kunte if he has made a profit of 2 percent how much would that be 1 plus 2 percent so 1 plus 20 percent is nothing but 1.2 d 1 minus 10 percent is nothing but 0.9 l is equal to 50,000 into 1.02 in other terms 50,000 into 1 is 50,000 plus 50,000 into 2 by 100 which is nothing but 1000 which is 51,000 so we know one equation which is 1.2 d plus 0.9 l is 51,000 the second equation we know is d plus l is equal to 50,000 i'll just multiply this by 1.2 so that we can solve the equation 1.2 d plus 1.2 l is equal to what is 50,000 into 1.2 it is 60,000 if i subtract it this minus this we get 0.3 l is equal to 60,000 minus 51,000 which is 9,000 l is equal to 30,000 the question is what is the purchase price in rupees of the desktop if l is 30,000 what would d be 50,000 minus 30,000 which is 20,000 this is the purchase price of the desktop thank you guys stay tuned if you have any uh, questions or concerns please reach out to ltx classes look forward to coming back to you with another video bye bye